Hello chess lovers, I want to share with you Johannes Zuckertort's immortal game against Joseph Henry Blackburn, nicknamed the Black Death. Johannes Zuckertort was a Polish chess master, he was one of the leading world players for the most of the 1870s and 1880s. Let's see how the game went on. Zuckertort started with c4, going for an English opening e6 by Blackburn, e3, Knight f6, Knight f3, b6, Bishop e2, Bishop b7, White castles, d5, d4, Bishop d6, Knight c3, Black castles, b3, White is also going to fianche to his bishop, Knight d7 and Bishop b2. Later, this bishop is going to become the key piece in the game. Queen e7 and knight b5. At some point this bishop could become very dangerous which is eyeing on white king and Zuckertort decides to exchange his knight with that bishop. Knight e4, knight takes d6, c takes d6, knight d2, knight f6, f3 and after knight takes d2, queen takes d2, white is getting two powerful bishops. But when you have a bishop pair, you have to allow your bishops breathe. That's why white is now going to open up the position. D takes c4, bishop takes c4, d5, bishop d3, rook c8, rook e1. White is preparing e4, rook c7 and in return black is going to double up his rooks on the c file. e4, rook c8 and there it goes, e5. Knight e8, f4. This f pawn is going to march further. But now Blackburn plays g6, stopping the pawn's further advancement. But now comes the rook, rook e3. White wants to bring the rook into the attack. Blackburn played f5, but this is somehow weakening the king side. And now after e takes f6. Blackburn should have captured on f6 with the queen, but instead he captured with a knight, which allows Zuckertor to push this pawn further. f5, knight e4, bishop takes e4, d takes e4, and white is capturing on g6, thus causing weaknesses on black's king side. Rook c2, looks like black managed to fork the queen and the bishop. But Zuckertort first plays g takes h7 check. King h8, black is not capturing on h7, instead black king is using this pawn as a shield. Here comes d5 check, discovered check, suddenly this diagonal is being opened up and this bishop is joining the attack. e5, and now it looks like that white is in trouble. How is white going to proceed with the attack? Looks like white is going to lose a piece, but in this position Zuckertort played one of the most fantastic moves ever seen. You can pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? As you can see right now the queen is protecting the pawn on e5. That's why Zuckertort plays this fantastic queen b4 move, trying to deflect the queen and capture on e5. Look at this beautiful queen sacrifice. But Blackburn played rook c5. Now look, if you capture on b4, then bishop takes e5 is just winning. If king takes h7, then rook h3 check. If king g6, then rook g3 check. King h6, rook f6 check. If king h7, then rook f7 check. King h6. Bishop f4 check followed by rook h7 checkmate. Look at this fantastic checkmate. The way white rooks and the bishop are cooperating with each other is just beyond description. Let's go back. After queen b4, black played rook c5, covering the queen. What a coward. Here comes another fantastic move. Now again you can pause the video and try to find this next move. Ready? The theme is the same. You have to lure away this queen. That's why Zuckertort plays. Rook f8 check. 
Now again, you can't accept the sacrifice because of this bishop takes e5 check. If king takes h7, then queen takes e4 check, king h6, queen h4 check, king g6, and again, black king is getting checkmated. We can go for this beautiful queen g7 checkmate. Let's go back. After rook f8 check, again, the queen can't leave its post. Blackboard captured on h7, here comes queen takes e4 check, king g7, bishop takes e5 check, this is a total destruction, king takes f8, finally black is accepting the rook sacrifice, but here comes bishop g7 check, now if queen takes g7, then queen e8 checkmate, black played king g8, here comes queen takes e7, and Blackborn resigned. This is truly an immortal game. I hope that you enjoyed this fantastic game. Good luck.